Hello guys, it is the 19th of September, it is Tuesday, and there's a few stories to cover. Yesterday, did MCC News yesterday, I uh, should have really done a bit more kind of stuff with regards to the channel and a lot more content, but I'm doing my Christmas shopping, please do not judge me. Also, I'm sorting out some car insurance and, and life stuff, but I will get back to making two videos at least a day and more live streams. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes, that's just how it is. So let's just get into the news. First story is all about Android users. Now, a lot of people have updated to Android 8.0 and experiencing a few problems. There's a, a kind of an Oreo problem, not the, the literal kind of Oreo, but there's a, a device problem with regards to Oreo. That has been resolved, I think, so far, but there still is substantial issues which is causing problems for people. Like this gentleman is experiencing things with regards to their Nexus phone. There's a few other things with 8.0 which are going around. I have reached out to Kabam for comment on this and they haven't had a look at it i don't know if they've responded to any of the information which is a bit disappointing there seems to be a lot of issues and problems which have come to light with alliance wars i'm sure that they're concentrating on that well i hope they're concentrating on that but it's really hard to tell and there is not a amount of kind of like further comment on this i really do hope for an answer if i get it on twitter because i have messaged over twitter i will then send out a tweet about it or cover it in a further mcd news video or put it in a pinned comment but so far nothing's been sorted out it is disappointing a lot of people have done the usual they've booted it several times they've been sorted again and installed numerous times for apps because to free up more space and this is all about a space issue saying that the game has doesn't have the sufficient storage space in order to kind of run the game so it's a bit disappointing uh, it has meant that a lot of people aren't able to access for obviously alliance quests alliance wars and uh, one particular person reached out to me on facebook so thanks very much for getting in contact and saying that this is a problem as I play a lot on iOS nowadays and I've gone off of Android, I still come back from time to time, especially when I'm in areas where I really kind of prefer playing Android. Uh, it is disappointing to see that. I myself are using an Android device. I'm using the Sony Xperia XA1. It's a piece of trash, but at the same time, it is working. It seems to be running the game fine. So this may be then very niche to a certain amount of phones. So hopefully this is resolved shortly. Our next story is all about Alliance Wars 15.0. I know we covered this briefly in uh, yesterday's MCC News, but a lot of kind of information has come to light as a result, and it is incredibly disappointing. There's an underlying problem which I didn't see. The reason being, there is a thousand thread posts in this discussion, and going through it would just take a long time. But I have been told from reliable sources that within the hit, this is uh, specifics on defender rating um in particular device diversity rating being applicable to each individual battle group and it's like become a real there's a lot of issues with that and i don't think and a lot of people within this post and i really strongly suggest you know adding to this because people are really pissed super pissed at the fact that it is causing so much of an issue the diversity thing hasn't been implemented as well as it should have done and it does go back to the kind of ending point that I said in last uh, the last video MC news which was that if it's not if it's not broken you don't need to fix it I understand the they, they want to tinker and tweak but it's like we already had a Ferrari and now we're kind of we've got a busted ass car that we want to make a supercar it's just like it's not good. Maybe they should have concentrated on bases or something. But I'm uh, very disappointed in, in this kind of implementation. And I don't enjoy looking towards Alliance Wars. My Alliance leader, leader is very kind of disappointed with the fact that he's even looking at going, oh, what, should we even bother entering in? Should we now focus to Alliance questing in future? Should we put our, all our attention with regards to having a better rating in that? And, and kind of like concentrating as well on other things. Because it looks like we're potentially going to lose a lot of wars going going forward, and that ain't cool. I mean, I've ju just seen some kind of ridiculous imagery of Core losing as a 19 million alliance to a 12 million alliance, and it's just then Core and incredibly skilled, and also they are uh, spenders within the game. And then we compare that off against the other alliance, and just like, what the heck is going on? This is crazy as hell. Yeah, and this is the image here. It's just like, what the heck is going on? This uh, defender diversity thing is becoming a real pain in the ass. My God, has to be sorted out. Our next story is all about a really nice kind of Reddit post. I saw this and I thought this was really good. 
A lot of people will kind of disagree on the way that you should evade certain attacks from certain champions. And I really like this post. So it's sort of it's called Evade Like a Ninja, a list of tricky specials and how to evade them. It's done by Cos Cosi11, and it's got this nice little Hyperion kind of logo there. But one of the good things about it is a lot of the community have kind of then come together and they're putting like stuff worth of kind of improvement. So there's like 30 comments at the moment, and it's just kind of is gathering kind of momentum. And I really like it. I think it's a nice little thing where the community's not going, oh, I think of a better way of kind of evading and uh, someone getting a bit kind of precious about it. But it's a nice community aspect to kind of help improve people's game. Thoroughly recommend it. Go to the link in the description and kind of add to it. And also, you know, if you enjoyed it, then you'll be able to either say thanks and as well kind of take on some good advice and good pointers from this article. And our final story is all about iOS 11. As we all know, this is going to go live, is live, whatever. I haven't updated mine just yet, but I will be doing it. However, though, this is one of the things that uh, is quite important to find out whether or not the, the kind of the operating system is the ios kind of whatever it is i don't know i'm, I'm new to uh, having ios but is it supported um for marvel contest of champions and the answer is yes it is and we're given the answer here and obviously in the same article there is mention of what we discussed about earlier which is uh android 8 uh, that's another thing but it's good to see obviously that the way the technology kind of improves that we are indeed getting that uh, support for it so that has been the news today and as i get on with getting all the normal stuff done with my life car insurance driver's license all that piddly shite as well as i'm trying to get prepared for christmas because i want to revamp the office i'm going to do a, a new studio tour and kind of do a, a kind of thing about what tech i used to use when i first started being a, a youtuber and then what i'm using now and that's going to be a video that's going to come out at a later date but i'm kind of doing all the all the stupid financial planning for that stuff and you need to get christmas out of the way anyway enough about my ramblings thanks so much for watching this video if you want to look at any of the articles discussed then they're in the description below if you want to follow me on social media the link is in the description below and uh yeah thanks very much for watching subscribe like uh, put notifications on so you see mcc news and other videos pop up whenever i make them but uh thanks and i shall catch you on the flip side bye bye for now